Potter. And they're saying cops did it. NYPD! Gangsters posing as cops. That's front page news. Help us punish them. I'm gonna do everything in my power to find these people. We're gonna get our kids back. This goes so much deeper than you know. Oh my god. They're everywhere. Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Miles Teller, NBC Tonight. Hey, Todd. What you up to? To celebrate the return of our beef tamales smothered in chili and cheese, I made this. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> it's just a pinata. I'll go see if he's OK. <laughs> It's fiesta time. Our beef tamales smothered in chili and cheese. Only at Wiener Schnitzel. He's my first love. Together over 25 years. And such good care of him. Going through this often made it easier. And I'm pleased to tell you, you are progressing so well. We're grateful we still have each other. For him. That's what I'm strong for. Healthcare made stronger. Optum. This is NBC4 News at 11. And tonight here in Los Angeles, Orange and Ventura County, police are warning about a sudden rise in residential burglaries. All with one thing in common. They're connected to groups coming out of South America. Good evening, I'm Chuck Henry. And I'm Colleen Williams. We've been covering these rings since 2019. Now it seems they are targeting neighborhoods once again. NBC4's Hetty Chang is live right now in Huntington Beach, where neighbors are on edge there. Hetty. Yeah, Chuck and Colleen, neighbors are really concerned out here, so much so they've set up their own neighborhood watch, and you can see that police have set up these electronic billboards letting people know that this area is under surveillance. This community is called Huntington Harbor, and they say so far this year, there's... Three guys leaving... men you see in this inside cash and valuables worth two hundred fifty thousand dollars we have cameras we have a security system we have a dog we have gates in front of our house we thought we were doing all the right things even all those things didn't stop the thieves which detectives believe may be part of a south american theft ring their pattern similar to the chilean burglary rings we covered in simi valley back in 2019 they rent cars to blend into the neighborhood break in during the evening hours on thursday friday and saturday nights and never from the first floor they entered on a second floor bathroom window we didn't have that window armed you know, with the alarm. Just this year alone, police recorded 20 burglaries with the same MO in the community of Huntington Harbor. Our safe was stolen, and in that safe, unfortunately, was my wedding jewelry. Um, really more than monetary, it was sentimental value. Lisa Rudy's house was broken into in February, also from the second floor window. While police have increased patrols and education, so too have the neighbors in Huntington Harbor. They've used their own funds to print out these newsletters, urging their neighbors to be aware. I don't want it to happen to somebody else again. That, that is the most important thing. I want our neighbors to know, to, if you see something, say something. That is the only way this is going to stop. And police are encouraging homeowners, if you leave during the evening hours, make sure to leave on a TV or a light so people think that someone is home. And also make sure that those alarm systems and those sensors also protect the second story. Live in Huntington Beach tonight, Hetty Chang, NBC4 News. And there is reaction tonight to the verdict for a former UCLA gynecologist accused of sexual abuse. James Heaps was tried on 21 felony counts. A jury found him guilty of some, not guilty of others. As NBC4's Anusha Rasta shows us now, he faces up to 28 years when he is sentenced next month. That monster deserves everything that he has coming to him. 
and nothing less. Former UCLA gynecologist Dr. James Heath.